Yes, you got that right. Back in January 2024, users on the DGEN channel of Warpcast received between 3 to 4.5 million DGEN tokens as airdrop, initially worth between $13 and $20,000. Now, they are remarkably valued between $70 and $90,000. Imagine getting paid just for sharing posts from your favorite social media account. Sounds crazy, right? Hello everyone, and welcome to the Atoms Research channel. Today, we are diving into the world of Farcaster and Warpcast. This is our first video, so show some love with a like and subscribe. Here we go! Farcaster is a decentralized social network designed to change how we interact digitally. Unlike traditional social media platforms, it offers enhanced user control over data and seamless integration with the crypto ecosystem. Warcast, a feature within Farcaster, enables users to broadcast their messages, called casts, across the network. It's where users engage, connect and even earn crypto by participating actively. Just a few days ago, the CEO of the project, Dan Romero, announced the closure of a Series A funding round, securing $150 million from lead investors like Paradigm, along with A16Z, Variant and others. This brings the total investment in Farcaster to an impressive $180 million. Notably, this is the first project in two years to receive investment from both Paradigm and A16Z at the same time. Have you ever wondered why there is so much hype around DGEN? This token is more than a hype, it is a revolution in cryptocurrency, earning through social activity on Warpcast. One of the earliest and most profitable tokens, DGEN is attractive because it is not a Farcaster or Warpcast project, but a gem from the community. On January 5th, the first DGEN airdrop was unleashed to about 1600 users. There were various rewards. Some received 3 million DGEN tokens, others as much as 4.5 million tokens, based on their engagement on the DGEN channel. The only requirement? Having your post reshared just once. Participants could rake in up to $20,000 without breaking a sweat, all thanks to their activity levels on the platform. Fast forward to today, and the DGEN airdrop has skyrocketed in value, now estimated at $70,000 to $90,000 per recipient. Follow the link provided in the description with your cell phone. You'll be forwarded to Warpcast website and download the app, available on both App Store and Google Play. Once you've downloaded it, the registration is straightforward. There is a small $5 annual subscription fee, which you can pay using your card. After you've registered with our invite link, 50 Warps, Warpcast internal currency, will be given to you and the account that invited you. Once the registration is completed, you will be taken to Warpcast website. Let's talk about the main features and activities you should be doing on Warpcast. Homepage's main feed consists of Home, Trending, Frames, and all channels section. We will be checking them at a later time. Go to the Edit Profile tab and click Edit Profile. We recommend that you fill out all of the available fields and add a picture. Click on the verified address and connect your wallet to Warpcast. Click on the Actions tab. There are various actions that you may add that will be available to perform with every cast. Click on the arrow and choose the needed action you'd like to add. Then go back to the home page and click on the four squares button below the cast. Open the actions and choose the one you'd like to activate for this particular cast. What are casts, channels and frames? The cast is a post, kind of like the one you may find on Facebook or Twitter. Other users might like, recast it, quote it or leave tips in the comments with DGEN coins. The channel is a group, similar to groups on other social networks. However, in most channels, 
every joint member can write a cast in the channel. Some channels might require a certain fee, paid in warps for each cast. Frames are interactive posts, where buttons that are available for users are 100% customizable, which provides endless possibilities for those who are creating frames. For example, you may add a few buttons that will lead to different websites, and so on. Farcaster frames add fun and interactive features to social posts, letting you engage with apps like games and NFTs right in the feed. Click on the Warps tab. Warps are this social network's currency that you may use to give tips to other users or receive tips from other users, mint NFTs, open a channel or pay for someone else's yearly subscription. Create casts. Press the cast button on the home page to publish the cast, which will be visible to other users. Hashtags are added with slash symbol, so use those when posting about popular projects like Base or Zora. Click on Explore button to see the users and channels list to follow. It is recommended not to follow too many users and channels at the same time, and rather adding them to your following list on a daily basis. Make sure to follow users with purple active users badges. To find out more about the badges, go to the account, then click on the badge and then click learn more. Leaving tips is an essential feature of Warpcast. You may leave tips with warps or degen tokens. To leave tips with warps, you'll need to open user's account and click on gift warps. Other users may leave tips for you as well. Tipping with the gen coins will be discussed in details in the next video. As you already know, different projects had previous airdrops for users who minted their NFTs. The NFTs might be found in Home Frames tab. Most NFTs will be free of charge, however, you might be asked to cover Zora's commission. Be careful with what you're casting. Limit your daily subs and likes numbers to avoid shadow ban or ban. There you have it! These are all the basic interactions on Warpcast you should know about. If you have figured out how everything works, here are some high projects that you should interact with. Degen.tips, build.com, talentprotocol.com, austock.xyz, far.quest. Stay tuned for the next video if you'd like to know more about how to show your activity on these projects to become eligible for future airdrops. We hope that this video guide was helpful for you. Let us know if you like this video and if you want to see the next part.